now what uh, today the case law that i'll be sharing is uh, we'll actually understand or rather i would say the analysis of the sales data would be done by us in that we'll be reviewing the whole data which contains a following contents and then in let's say i'm an internal auditor of that firm or i'm the part of the management i'm a chartered accountant who is this who is who is under the cfo so what i do what i need to do is i need to analyze the sales data and then provide the insights to the management because we all know management is not interested in the chunk of data they are just interested in the trends patterns and the anomalies so today we will do uh, the analysis of the sales data so the contents of our sales data contains the following uh, I'll also show you the Excel sheet for that. It is the uh, serial number, name of the item sold, name of the salesman, ID, uh, just to identify that salesperson, sales price, cost of the product, and then the profit and loss, which is the net of sale minus cost. And then the location, category of item, item sold, and the profit amount, which is nothing but quantity sold into the profit or loss, right? So now, I have two methods of analyzing it. Uh, one is the co-pilot, which is, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, uh, show that also. I am using Microsoft 365 plus Copilot Pro. Apart from that, I am also using ChatGPT data analytics. So these are the tools that I'll be using, right? For co-pilot, uh, we need a license 365 and a co-pilot version uh, needs to be purchased separately. Here, I have the co-pilot version, right? I can either analyze it here as, as well, which it will tell me that, okay, uh, what do you want to analyze? See, the senior chartered accountant or uh, the chartered accountants, they are interested in the analysis of the data. Nothing more than that, they have to provide consultancy to the management or incorporate in their internal audit, right? So either I can use this, like let's say how many quantity sold off uh, 15 or are there any outliers in the data? But today I'll be using the data analysis tool. So here, what I'll do is, uh, I'll just upload my Excel sheet, which contained the contents which I have already shared. What I'm telling is analyze this data and answer my questions. The questions pertains to the uh, sales data, which might come from the management. We'll also see what are my questions preparing in the internal audit report for sales data, right? Now I have just entered this. It is loading this whole Excel file. Uh, it will start analyzing. Meanwhile, I'll move to that uh, PPT and show you what I am going to ask today. See, as I told you, there were a lot of uh, category, uh, right? So there was a category which is clothing, right? And that product is being sold by the company, right? So it has already loaded this data. Now they want me to ask, what should I know? So I'll just paste what is the most profitable location for the company under the category. Right. So now I want to identify which is the most profitable location because I am, let's say, the uh, clothing department head, right? I need to focus on that, that particular city now, right? See, I have the answer. The most profitable location for the company under the category clothing is Hyderabad. Daya sir's residence with a total profit of $37,000. Let's take it rupees, right? Second question. Let's go to the second question. Which category is the most profitable in terms of amount, right? So amount with terms of amount, I mean uh, this amount, the quantity sold multiplied by the, by the profit, right? So the most profitable category in terms of account is groceries with a total profit of 3 lakh rupees, right? Now, the third question, which products needs to be focused by the management to improve its profitability? Because obviously we have the, uh, we have to do the analysis and identify what are the loose points of our uh, sales. And then we have to improve its profitability. Now for the purpose of profitability, we need the percentage of the prof uh, profit that is being scored, right? 
Now see, the management should focus on improving the profitability of soap, which has a total profit of 89,000, indicating it is the product with the lowest profitability in the data set. This suggests that there may be room for in improvement in terms of sales strategy, pricing, cost for the product. Okay, done, sir. Who is the best performing salesperson? Now for appraisals, we need the analysis of who was the best performing salesman. As I showed you, there was a salesperson tab also, right? So what we will do is we'll ask who is the best performing salesperson is Harisha with a total profit contribution of $16,000. So the most profit contributing salesman is Mr. Harish, Harish, Harisha, right? So sir, this was the four question that came to my mind, right? Now, what should I ask? I want a further analysis. Now I'll just ask the data analysis, data analysis tool of chat GPT to let provide me what better insights can be provided to me and visualize them also. What else can be provided to me as an insight to present to the management and also visualize the data set. Right, sir. So to provide comprehensive insights, uh, it will provide me what can be the visualizations and of the sales data. Right, sir. The first one when I come, trends over time. If our data includes timestamps, no, it does not. So it's irrelevant. Sales performance by salesperson. Yeah, this can be done. So, but let's uh, see what, what should I do. So what I'll do is I'll go for a location analysis. See, this is something which I am showing which is nothing related to the uh, complex formulas, complex prompts, nothing like that. It's simple uh, Excel file that I am having with the data and it's simple uh, layman English, basic English that, I, that we can expect from any person, right? Now, I'll just maximize this, yeah. See, when I told the data analyst to do a location analysis. What I was having was the bar, bar chart. chart straight away. Two minutes left, Vishnuji, right? Yes. Okay. See, I have Chennai as the most profitable in terms of amount. Hyderabad, then Kolkata. But when I go to the go further, it's Pune, which is the uh, less contributor. So uh, for that, we can uh, improve the team of Pune. We can uh, send a different salesperson. Uh, okay, let's ask that to this only. What can be done to improve the profit in Pune? See, it is telling me you can either market, uh, tailor the marketing campaigns because obviously Pune might be having uh, different uh, geographical data of what is the persons living there, so forth and so on. So this is what I wanted to tell that a person which is having a simple sales data, what analysis can be done. And if I want, I can visualize each and everything. Uh, I can uh, visualize sales performance by sales percent. Uh, I can visualize customer demographics, like what stay, what percent is they in taking the which 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 product is being intended by which location the maximum. So these are the uh, things which can be analyzed. So uh, I think uh, this could be of help either in the internal audit or while analyzing the data or for the people who are in job. For them also, this is helpful. Uh, thank so you, sir. This was the case that I wanted to show. Yeah, thank you, sir.